Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today we're going to discuss rest periods for power training, power work. So what is power work? Power is uh, force applied over time, right? It is doing something really, really fast or moving something relatively heavy, relatively fast. Again, there, that's kind of like the two ways that you would look at it. You would think like throwing a baseball is power work. You got a really light ball and you're moving it really, really fast. Um, that's that's a good example. You could talk about jumping. So if, you know, maybe you squat 400 pounds, but if you're jumping, that's only body weight, right? That's not an extra 400 pounds or like 550, 580, depending on how much you weigh, total pounds. Um, so you can move your body weight a lot faster than you could move a squat bar. So when I jump, that's that's the idea there. I'm taking a sub-maximal weight and I'm moving it um, at speeds that are as fast as I can move them. That is kind of like a power thing. Now, the other side of that coin is if you think about like a powerlifting west side barbell dynamic conjugate method kind of thing, you, you have this uh, dynamic effort. That, that word snuck in there a little too soon. You have this dynamic effort method day where you take some load that is not a, you know, necessarily impressive for you. Uh, squatting, deadlifting, bench pressing weight, and then you apply some sort of power element to it. So there's two basic ideas here. The first one is you're moving that weight, that submaximal weight, really, really fast, and we've talked about that already. And then if you're looking at it from a powerlifting perspective, uh, we we should probably talk about ballistic versus non-ballistic movements. Um, you they they all take these bands and these chains to use for their exercises and what those do is it slows the bar down as you're building up the speed so generally when we do a normal squat or bench press or deadlift or anything like that we spend about half the rep slowing down and so if the goal is to produce more power in less time or in the same amount of time then i'm not or produce force in the same amount of time aka more power sorry um then I'm not really getting that out of my traditional lifts unless I'm, you know, if I'm squatting, unless I'm leaving the ground and actually jumping with the bar on my back. But, you know, that stuff's kind of dangerous and you can't really load it that much, right? You can you can pretend like you can do jump squats with, you know, if you're a 400 pound squatter, you can do jump squats with 65, maybe 95 pounds, but you can't do them with 225 pounds because that's a stupid idea. <laughs> Um, and you shouldn't get hurt just for the purposes of training. Anyway, um, so the idea here is I can I can kind of push the forces up if maybe I'm I don't get a lot of power out of just jumping because I'm a slow person, then maybe what I can do is I can add a little bit of extra load and maybe add accommodating resistance so that it kind of um, increases my uh, force demand as I go down, and then it can actually slow me down as I go. Um, I'm realizing that people are going to be mad that I say accommodating resistance. That's kind of what it is, though. So um, as I push up, the band pulls me down, or as I push up, the band stops uh, supporting the weight as I'm going up. So the weight starts to get heavier. Or as I'm pushing up, more links of a heavy chain are coming off the ground and I'm getting uh, that extra weight on my back through the bar and it's slowing me down. That way, maybe I can accelerate through 75% of the rep instead of just 50%. Um, okay, so that's what power training is. Now, rest periods involved for this. I don't want fatigue to accumulate. It's just like the strength kind of aspect of things. But with strength, especially if reps are long and slow, I'm going to accumulate a little bit more of that lactic fatigue. Um, so I don't, you know, I, I definitely don't want that in my strength work and I definitely don't want that in my power work. But for power work, depending on the intensities of this, um, I might not have a whole lot of that. So the, the biggest thing, like the best way to do this, if you're if you're monitoring everything, is you monitor how far you're jumping, how fast you're throwing the medicine ball, how fast you're squatting the weight, whatever it is, and you make sure that number doesn't go down. 
if it starts to go down, you're starting to get fatigued, you need to stop because you're no longer training your max power, right? You're starting to train your conditioning. And that's not the idea here. Um, that's the best way to do it. The when we're talking about rest periods, you can just monitor your rest period and you can say, oh, let me rest 60 seconds between sets and then I'm gonna find out that maybe that isn't enough and now I need to rest 90 seconds. People are gonna be different that way. Um, people are gonna clear that stuff out that way and you can actually use the rest period as your progression there, especially if it's like a sport specific kind of conditioning, which we'll talk about tomorrow. Um, okay. In general, if I'm giving you a blanket answer and I'm not trying to educate you at all, the rest periods for your power work should be at least 60 seconds, maybe even three minutes. You should rest a little bit longer than you think you have to. Thank you for watching this video. If you didn't like it, you can, you know, you know what to do. But if you did like it, hit the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell if you want to be notified when I have new videos, which is currently daily. Um, and lastly, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below the video. It really helps elucidate more specific examples on some of the topics that we're talking about. And that that can really help people understand it better. Not just for you, but for the other people who come by and they watch this video in two, three, ten years later. I don't plan on taking any of this down, right? So what we want is we want a, a system that will add value to people for years to come. And the way that you can help me with that is by leaving a comment below and by hitting like and subscribe and the bell and whatever.